Hello again my friends, Activision has officially announced a major content release for Destiny sometime in fall 2015, but what exactly can we expect to get our hands on? Well, this super grainy image that leaked online in October 2014 may give us some clues. It appears to show a timeline for Destiny's future expansions as well as details of what those expansions will contain. Now if we look at a cleaned up, high res version of the image, we see that in September 2015, Bungie is planning to release a super sized expansion referred to here as Comet Plague of Darkness, an expansion that includes numerous story missions, strikes, patrol areas, public events, multiplayer maps, a raid and even new subclasses and weapon types, an expansion that according to the artwork here could very well come in a box disc, in short a major content release. So then, here's what we know so far about Bungie's planned expansions. First up we have The Dark Below which launched December 9th 2014. Next up we have House of Wolves which Bungie's officially confirmed will drop in the second quarter of 2015, so sometime in April, May or June. In fall 2015, Activision has officially announced a major content release, which seems to be the Comet Plague of Darkness expansion. Remember, this name could very well be a placeholder. What we know for sure is that whatever drops in fall 2015 will be big and possibly big enough to warrant a box disc. Now Activision also revealed that they have a very robust pipeline planned after their major content release in fall 2015. Now this is almost certainly business talk for more expansions and again if we refer back to that leaked image those expansions have the following placeholder names. Expansion 3 appears to be called Vex Void and Expansion 4 appears to be called Forge of Gods. Now there are no concrete details for when these expansions will release or even exactly what kind of content they will offer. But we do know that they are coming and that staggered expansion drops seem to be the way Destiny will unfold. What lasts beyond expansion 4 remains to be seen. But as Bungie listens to feedback, you can be sure that each installment will be a gradual evolution of what's gone before. Destiny is not a perfect game, far from it, and House of Wolves needs to reignite the passion many Destiny fans claim to have lost. I for one am very hopeful. Bungie is listening, but what do you guys think? Are you on board for the long haul or have you already moved on? I'd love to hear what you have to say about this, so leave a comment below and let me know. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content and thanks for watching you beautiful bastards. And as always, down till next time guardians.